All right. Good. I think it's time to start. I mean, people are still waking up. Uh, so other people probably are uh, almost done with lunch time. So it's more like uh, uh, we are chilling out uh, at home on their couch uh, watching for us. So it's a pleasure for you to be here. Uh, so let me start by saying thank you. Uh, thanks to the community. Thanks to everybody who participated in this. Uh, for us, this it's kind of experiment. Um, so we start no hat like last year. Uh, so last year was already to go a big experiment. First time uh, we went uh, uh, live with this event, and we had like uh, uh, roughly 400 people joining us in the conference room. So I was super excited. This year it's again cha a big change. Uh, we made it live. Uh, so. We hope that everything works fine. We never know, but uh, we pray for the demo gods. Um, so I would say thank to all of you. All right. Um, so let me start by telling you a bit uh, which are the uh, ingredients of no hat. Uh, I'm not sure everybody of you know about no hat. So let me recap a bit uh, what no hat is about. Uh, let me start by saying that uh, we came up with this idea last year, and uh, the goal was to create an international conference in Italy. Uh, so we had a few sporadic events in Italy that were mainly, uh, I would say, only for Italian, basically, very small. Uh, the community is kind of close, uh, close community. So we wanted to bring like an international vibe in Italy, similar to our conference, Ekish conference, that uh, there are all around the world. and. Um, it was missing something like that in Italy, so that was our starting point. And the event we want to create was an event that was fact-based. Uh, what does it mean? It means that what is presented here is present on the ground truth. So we have, uh, so we, we present real things. So you know, it's not like you know, a vendor talk with people that are saying, okay, I did this, I did that one, but you know, we don't know what's going on. So it's really fact-based, and as a consequence of that, uh, it's driven by novelty by research so i'm not saying that all the content you see today is new has never been presented before but the final goal will be to um to give you something more of what uh, uh you might have already experienced somewhere else so it's a bit like if you go eating in a uh, michelin restaurant uh, you expect the nova dish to be uh, something like uh, uh, something new right that you have not maybe eat somewhere else that's why you go and you pay you pay more to be like in a michelin restaurant uh, as a consequence of uh, of, uh, of all of this, uh, we based uh, our program on a fair selection process. So we have a call for paper, but also in the call for paper, we're trying to be as honest as possible. So we don't want to be those kinds of conference uh, that invite always, you know, the friends of the friends, or always, you know, uh, people they know, or even worse, you know, uh, uh, people that come speaking because uh, uh, they pay for for a slot, right? Uh, so that's very important for us. Uh, and also, as a result of this, it's, uh, our event is vendor neutral in the sense that uh, we don't want to be influenced by sponsors. Of course, we have sponsors because all of this costs, but uh, we don't want you know, to have a vendor track. We don't want sponsor to be able to give a presentation. <clears throat> so we are not influenced by sponsor. And uh, uh, last but not least, is uh, uh, our work is uh, based on uh, is a voluntary effort. What does it mean? It means that we are, uh, I mean, the conference itself is not driven by uh, uh, by profit. So there is no company that operates such a uh, no hat, but it's uh, organized by a no profit uh, organization. So we're a group of a uh, uh, few people. Uh, we do it just for fun. Uh, we do it in our spare time. Uh, that's why we run it over the weekend. And uh, I think this gives a lot of value to uh, to what we do. And uh, about the name, uh, so many people might wonder why no hat. So what does it mean? Uh, I'm not going now into the long discussion about why no hat, uh, because it would burn all my time. Uh, you may want to check uh, my opening last year at 2019. But to give you just a small bite of what no hat is about, um, we really don't, I mean, I personally don't think, but other people agree with me, but there is no really this much distinction nowadays between a white hat and the black hat. So what does it mean? It takes, for example, someone working for a governmental agency or a law enforcement agency, and you are paid to uh, discover zero days vulnerability and, and uh, develop, for example, uh, new exploits for, for those vulnerability. All right, you know, you are a, you have actually a contract, right, with someone actually with the state 
for example. So you might think you are a white hat, right? Because you are legitimate by vet contract. But is it really white what you're doing in you know disclosing uh, in the finding zero days vulnerability and selling those vulnerability to the government? I'm not sure. And what instead of the other side here, uh, suppose you have like a script kitty uh, that uh, you know uh, is an activist and fight against them. Um, I don't know, for example, the illegal fishing of a uh, uh, two knife Mediterranean Sea. So at that point, uh, what it does is, you know, it defaces basically their own page website of uh, of one of those companies uh, that operate illegal fishing in the Mediterranean Sea. Uh, so can you classify this script kitty uh, as a as a black hat? Does it really hurt to you know uh, the community? I don't know. So that's really uh, what we have on the table. Uh, we want to have talk that are both offensive and both defensive, uh, and so we want to to be actually. Uh, impartial against what is white and what is black. So let me give you uh, some uh, some photos of uh, of the people that are behind uh, Bergam in the Middle, which is a no-profit organization that organized no hat. Uh, so here we have one of our voluntary uh, that is preparing uh, our uh, last year speaker box. Uh, these are flasks uh, that we fill up with uh, uh, local Italian uh, liquor called grappa. And uh, yeah, this is the one of photo of us preparing basically present for our speakers. I was also to mention that also for this year, we have, of course, uh, a speaker box uh, that we will send, of course, by post. Uh, we don't have a way to meet each other, but uh, I hope that sooner or later, depending on how efficient the post uh, delivery is, you will receive a present as well. This is myself uh, uh, trying uh, one of our beta t-shirts that we designed last year. Uh, this is our um, uh, taxi driver, if you want. So, of course, we couldn't afford uh, to pick up people from the airport, to pick up people from the train station. Uh, so, one of our voluntary, uh, you know, uses car, personalizes car with a no hat logo, and operates as a service uh, to bring actually people to the conference center and so on. Uh, this is a, a group of, uh, of, of us uh, in uh, St. Petersburg last year for uh, Zero Night. Um, so we signed a kind of, I mean, not signed, but we had a kind of a, uh, an official agreement uh, with the guys behind Zero Night uh, to uh, to have actually a discount to join their, their conference. So we all together fly to uh, St. Petersburg and, uh, and, and Noet was basically there with the organizer of Zero Nights. Uh, <clears throat> this is us again testing uh, some of our uh, hoodies and merchandising. And here is uh, one of our uh, voluntary uh, showing the pins uh, that uh, we uh, that we bought last year, and uh, we give out for free. So these are just some photos, but to show you what is uh, behind, uh, what's the spirit behind uh, no hat. Here again, uh, some photos about 2019 for those of that were not with us last year. Uh, the conference was run in uh, Bergamo. Uh, Bergamo is a hilly town, 50 kilometers north of Milan. And uh, we had actually people coming from all over Italy, uh, people like uh, you can see here on the left photo from Rome. This is a, a friend of us uh, that runs uh, a conference down in Rome, traveling uh, with his backpack to, uh, to Bergamo. Uh, then we have photos of other people here. Uh, we have a photo on the right of the speaker dinner. So we have the, a dinner with speakers. In the in the hills of Bergamo, and uh, that's that's uh, uh, that's a photo of that event. And then we had a conference itself with myself opening the session with Daniel uh, presenting uh, uh, some of his little research on attacks on the architecture. And then we have Stefano giving a lecture on over forty years of uh, um, uh, history of Italia of Italian Hacks community. All these presentations are available on our website, so you can go and check them out anyhow. Here are other photos, so the photo of all the crew uh, on the left side. Uh, these, these are basically all the members of uh, that help us uh, setting up this, this event. Uh, a photo from uh, Blue Minimal, Marco, about the speaker box uh, of last year. And then, of course, we had as well a post-conference party because, you know, uh, there is no Ekish conference, there is no post-conference party. So we, we rent a pub and we bring there more than 400 people and we we just, you know, meet up and exchange impression of the conference. 
All right, so let's go to uh, what happened this year, 2020. So our menu for this year cons consists of uh, my friend Somil uh, that will uh, give a keynote on uh, cyberspace in general. Uh, I'm going to introduce him uh, in a few minutes. Uh, then we have presentation on uh, uh, malware and binary analysis, uh, so uh, pretty technical stuff. And then in the afternoon, we continue with technical stuff. Uh, we have some friends from Russia um, discussing the, uh, some of the flows um, that they found on the architecture of modern computers. Uh, then we talk of uh, how to automatically find bugs uh, in application. So that's also technical as well. And then we conclude with something a bit softer, but not really. So we talk about deep fake, which was an emerging problem nowadays, and uh, web vulnerabilities. We have two talks related to web vulnerabilities. So the agenda is pretty packed. Uh, we try to uh, condense uh, the talk in 30 minutes. So we'll have like 30 minutes talk uh, plus Q&A. And uh, we've one coffee break in the afternoon and one lunch break, of course, in the middle. Uh, very important is that you guys are the conference. What does it mean? It means uh, uh, the conference would not exist uh, without the attendees. I mean, nobody, you know, is going to present uh, to uh, to a wall. You know, it makes. I mean, it makes. You know, it's really funny to present in front of you know people. So, you are listening to my presentation. You are attending the conference. Uh, uh, you can actually interact with each other. You can interact with the uh, uh, with organizer. And most importantly, you can make questions to the speakers. Uh, so there is a Q&A endpoint, uh, which is uh, um, actually it's this QR code you see on the screen. You can take a photo or the address noed.it slash live. So there is a web app based on the Slido. Uh, it's very simple. You can make questions, you can interact. So there is a general page uh, for general chatting. And then there is uh, uh, there are different pages if you want or different channels, uh, one per presentation. And every time a presenter is done, so for example, when Saumi will be done with his presentation, you will have a new room called Somil that you can join to make uh, to make call to make questions. So this is how it works. It's very simple. Uh, then again, uh, I want to say that uh, okay, you know we are a non-profit organization, so everything we do is uh, is based on uh, donations. So we'll be very happy if you would like to donate and uh, by going to the, to the registration address of the conference. And as a result of that, we'll uh, be happy to send you uh, either a t-shirt or a hoodie, depend uh, what you want to buy, uh, with a logo design uh, from by friends of us here in, uh, in Bergamo. Um, so yeah, very happy if you would like to, to get some of our uh, merchandising. Again, uh, here <clears throat> it's about job seeking. Uh, so we have a virtual uh, bakeka, so a virtual uh, job uh, I mean, page where we list basically all the different job positions. Uh, things like, do you want to be a reverse engineer? Do you be the next mobile researcher? Do you want to advance your career in penetration testing? Or are you into uh, software development, right? Um, so thanks to our different sponsors, uh, we have uh, uh, this uh, listing. Uh, so go and check out you know uh, the different job position if you are interested. Uh, let me thanks as well you know the speaker to have a sponsor because again uh, this would not, would not be possible without the support of uh, the sponsor you see on the screen replying the cyber Confindustria Insight Accenture, Enforcer Trend Micro, C Web Vivu, Defenses Alpha Group Ergon and Security Pattern. Thanks to all of them for uh, supporting our commitment into uh, No Hat. Uh, I want to thanks as well the community partner. Uh, so the people that you have on screen here are uh, friends uh, that uh, we friendship that we establish over the years, uh, because more people want to become our community partner. So it's not something that you pick up the phone, uh, you ring Marco, you say, okay, I want to be a community partner. Uh, no, it doesn't work like that. So to give you an example, I don't know, talking about 8.8, .8, uh, which is uh, one of the largest conference in uh, South America. Uh, I had the chance to be one of their first uh, presenter in uh, 2011, so nine years ago, uh, and I heavily contributed to the development of such conference, uh, starting from Chile down to different countries in South America. Uh, the same would be with uh, Nalcon or Hardware IO. So I personally know the founder of these two conferences, and uh, I'm still, you know, one of the. Uh, I mean, I helpfully I. 
uh, contribute as much as possible, for example, bringing something like uh, a capture of a signal, which is a, a radio-based uh, SDR uh, contest to these two conferences. So I don't want to go into detail all of this, but I know personally all these people around, so thanks to them. And um, yeah, I'm very happy to, 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 to be part of this community. And I really think that what drives you know, research as most is the interest you put in what you do. All right, so that's all on my side. I want to take more of it.